Alrighty, so good morning everybody. Well, during uh, last night's stream, um, one of my regulars named Dice Chuck, uh, he uh, suggested I try out this game. We just, uh, uh, messed it up. I gotta do something on my OBS real quick. Okay, so I'm I'm on my OBS right now. I have to move my um I have to move my game source down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Alright, anyway, so but uh, we got to talking about Dungeons and Dragons. Um and uh he suggested I uh try out this game. Um I think uh Oh, what game were we there was um that's what we were talking about. We were talking about Baldur's Gate, um, where I told him that I had to use cheats on that because just compensation for the fact that I was trying to play a solo character because having to take care of six, uh, or having to take care of as many as six different characters was a major logistical nightmare for me. I just want to play the damn game. So it's easier to just take care of uh, one player and just use cheats whenever necessary. Um, he, uh, he actually suggested I try this game out instead, which is like Baldur's Gate, but with only, uh, one character. So, I'm not gonna be playing this for very long, though. Uh, probably just long enough to create a character and then maybe a little bit of, a uh, little bit of gameplay. Yeah, because there's still, uh, there's still other shit I need to get taken care of this morning, so. But I just wanted to go ahead and just do a, a quickie dicky run of this. I guess we'll all start here. Um, okay. So, uh, new campaign, classic campaign. Um, never win or chess. I'm just going to pick this one, the top one, Wailing Death. Yeah, this is, uh, uh, I'm, n I'm not gonna read, I'm just gonna skim this. Like I said, I don't want, um, one of my biggest, kind of a off, related yet unrelated, one of my biggest streamer turnoffs is when they read shit aloud. It's very distracting. I'd rather just read it myself. So, but like I said, I'm just gonna once over it. The original campaign team or champions are pretty rude. Shoki man, you're on original features. Okay. I guess we'll go with this. Okay, I'm assuming you can create a character. That's probably a single player only. Characters, Frozen North. Um, but again, I. Okay, create new character. But for this video, this is gonna be the meat of. This is gonna be the meat of it right here. Just. Just uh, character creation. Okay, yeah, they're following, um, yeah, they're following, um, classic Baldur's Gate here. I'm, um, I want to say this came out before, uh, 5th edition, but I actually want to be a bugbear character. I mean, a bugbear race. Uh, they ain't got it here. Plus two, my, okay. Oh, this is, um, multi-class half-orcs. Oh, so this follows a uh, third edition then. Yeah, I think third edition Dungeons and Dragons had this. If you pick a race's favorite class, they're yeah, they're multi-class. They don't suffer an XP penalty for multi-classing.
four extra skill points and plus one additional. Uh, uh. I mean, it's gonna be boring meat and, meat and potatoes, but I'm just gonna go with human. Sub race? So I'm guessing, um, sub race. Here, let me back up. Okay, so you guys can't see this. And I already see a good thing about this game. Um, I'm on my OBS window right now. And the game is, and, um, you can still hear the sound, the music and stuff. Um, I've played games where the moment you leave the game itself, the audio cuts off. Sometimes the game even uh, auto pauses, which I don't want. So it seems, uh, but yeah, this is this is definitely one good thing about this game. It means I can, I can pause, I can go to another window and, yes, you know that kind of thing. But yeah, like I said, we'll pick. We'll pick human. Uh, portrait. Now, if Baldur's Gate was anything to go by, I think you can use... You can use uh, custom portraits. All you do is put some uh, put some glasses on them, and it'd be perfect. Okay, so they do have monks then. I'm sure you guys know how a monk works, especially you uh, D and D veterans. Uh, alignment, no question. So, no question on that one. Lawful good. Uh, abilities. Okay, so if. if I'm right about, I think I'm right about this. This is third edition. Um, you got 30 points. You can increase a, you can increase a stat. It's a one for one ratio. But once you take a, once you take a score, let me double check something. Okay. But once you take a score past 12, the cost is going to increase. Okay, it's 13. It's 13. So, uh, monks kind of suck at this because uh, you actually need more than just uh, you need dexterity and wisdom. You also need some strength and you basically need a little bit of everything except the charisma. I actually want intelligence as well, but that's more of a personal preference because if it's at... Okay, and I... Yeah, I just saw this. I actually, um... When I created my bugbear character many years ago, his intelli... Yeah, you can't do a... You can't do a standard array, it seems, on this. Yeah, and it kind of shows here, too. I just went with recommended. There we go. Yeah, not the most charismatic guy. I mean... But, yeah, I think, um... 
when I did my, uh, again, when I did my 5th edition bugbear character, or bugbear monk, I should say, um, I did standard array. I think it was 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, and 8. I just used those. Bugbears also have a plus two to strength. Yeah, plus two to strength, plus one to dexterity too. So, but you can't do bugbears in this game. So I'll again. I don't want to spend all morning on this, so we'll just go with that. But basically, I don't. I don't like. I don't like playing dipshits. I don't like. I don't like playing idiots. I like playing guys with you know, with some brains up, a little something upstairs. Yeah, but I saw this too. Intelligence lower than nine means your character is unable to speak properly. I want to be able to speak properly without. I don't. I don't want to be that. Um, packages. Okay, uh... Alright, so let me look at... Train in the class again. Nope. Uh... As I, as I had written down for my, uh... For my bugbear monk, I had him... Not with a bow and arrow, but with a slingshot. I guess for game mechanic purposes, a sling. Pick a skills and beats so you don't have to. Hammering their beliefs in it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh... Okay, heal. Um, 24. I think there's a max of four. Yeah, max of four. Persuade, pickpocket, right? Uh, let's go back. Packages. Uh, we'll just say peasant. But yeah, something. If I'm into this game enough, uh, in the future, I would like to cre recreate a monk and then um, actually make a custom one. Yeah, we'll go with uh, Peasant Monk. So you can't, I guess you can't zoom in and out. Uh... I want what the um I want this look not seeing it This is a human, not a half-orc. 
don't know why I'm getting them. Okay, so it just looped. I guess this is the closest I'm going to get. I kind of wish you could rotate them. All right, so we'll go with this. Get on them! Attack, I say! Okay, uh... First name... Joe. Close enough. Small, um, male, brash, persistent. To your weapons, and don't by my direction attack. I also want to say that I, I can't see why they wouldn't have this. But uh, being able to create your own custom voices. None of these. I hear the battle calling. Attack! Yeah, I don't. By my direction, attack! Strike at them. Attack! By my will, attack! I guess the point because of the name. Okay, I guess I have to have, make a custom name, but... There was, a uh, The old, uh, the old version of Ilmater was the, um... The God of Martyrdom, um, Endurance. Uh... I gotta, I gotta kill a window real quick. Okay. But yeah, there's... They changed... They, they changed who he was for 5th uh, edition. I think he's like the god of mercy now. The god of enlightened justice, perhaps. I'd have to look into it, but uh, yeah, this... It's, for what it's worth, I have a... He is the only god in the entire, uh, in the entire pantheon whose avatar is a monk. Everybody, every other god... They have, there's like mystics, there's there's wizards, there's fighters, there's you know their avatars are thieves and all that other stuff. Just about every other kind of class imaginable. But Ilmater is the one and only exception whose avatar is a monk. So he's also interesting too. Is uh. Out of all the other gods out there, um, you know they'll they'll smite down evil. Or if you're an evil god, you're 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 bullying the weak and you're killing innocent people. You know, but it's all all them gods are all about you know attack, attack, attack. Um, Ilmater, I think there's one other god, or she's a goddess, Eldoth, the like the goddess of streams, the goddess of uh groves she's um she's the only other pacifist whereas ill modern he's all defense like he'll 
you're like, yo, he's more likely to just sit there and take the abuse rather than just go out and smash like, oh, you know, that kind of thing. So, but if he gets too, I mean, but if he gets too pissed off, yeah, he'll fight back, but he's, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Looked like the game was going to crash for a second. But I'll go with Pia Scholar, but like I said, I don't really like any of the voices. I mean, I think mine would probably be, go get them, boys. Or, you know, I wouldn't sit there and, wow, mighty warriors, hot the heck, like at the, shot, at the top of your lungs. I mean, that, I don't work that way. Fate shall grant me victory. Fate grant me victory. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I want to see. I'll, let me, I'll just go with, I will attack. I'll just go with that. I don't want to be here all morning trying to find a voice. So, so let's take a look what else I got. Uh, praise, bluff, uh, discipline. So you can go up to six on these. I wonder how he pulled that off. I tried doing this and I can only get up to four. Um, and this one here, on my um, on my bugbear monk, I would have maxed out heal. I probably would have maxed out hide as well. He's, I had him, he's set up as a, kind of a, his forte was as a field medic and search and rescue. And um, a little bit of bounty hunting as well, even though he ain't he ain't no bounty hunter. He just we got to pay, he's got to eat somehow. Um, I guess it's more of a walker than a rider. But, but yeah, I'll. Let's just move on. The Frozen North, the name given to the stark and unforgiving frontier that lies beyond the high moor of Faerun. Cool. You can use a controller. Controls are kind of wonky. I was afraid you were going to sleep all day. I guess the instructors work you pretty hard here at the academy. So let me check my OBS real quick. Okay, so it looks like it's got the whole thing. Um. Okay, so. Yeah, you can't see my mouse on my OBS screen. But you can in here. My name's Pablo. I'm one of the new recruits. I just arrived here at the academy this morning. And once again, um I don't I can't stand uh re I can't stand reading the shit aloud. And it's also one of the biggest, thing, uh, it's also one of my biggest streamer turnoffs when they, when they read aloud.
turn the streets and play. Okay, I heard something about this uh, many years ago. Uh, for those that don't know, I tried playing this. I tried playing Neverwinter Nights. I'd say probably like in the 2000s somewhere, like right around the time I first came out. Um, it wouldn't work on my computer for some reason. But yeah, that, that was part of the story of Neverwinter. At some point, they were uh, stricken by a big plague. and die apparently okay so we're going back So you can completely um, you can completely block out the uh, the chat. Um, I don't. Yeah, uh, eventually I'll have to find a happy medium and where to how high to have the uh, the chat box. So. So these are tank controls then. I'm using my controller right now, in case you hadn't noticed. Hope you can talk to him again. Well, looks like you're all rested. Okay, good. So I can talk to him again on a on the adventuring tutorial, and it looks like you can also use your keyboard as well. But I guess on the downside, these are tank controls. Okay, so you can't straight. Never mind. Never mind. I'm wrong. Input. I would assume sensitivity would be over here. Dialogue zoom. Uh, mouse wheel sensitivity, but it doesn't show anything about uh, the mouse itself. Keep it top down. Okay. okay, um, let's save the character. Okay, so it got exported somewhere. I just want to exit to the main menu. I don't want to leave. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, but otherwise, uh, that's going to do it for me. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. So far, though, um, I kind of like what I see. Um, and uh, they're... Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to pull off, but um, at some point in the future, uh, you might see a stream of this. Um, I don't know, but uh, my um, I'm more devoted to streaming pinball these days. But there could be a chance that I might uh, I might squeeze in a Never Winter Nights stream as well. But again, we'll see in the future. But um, like I said, I kind of like what I see. So, and but like I, like I said, there's probably a few a few things here and there that I kind of wish the game would have. But uh, this this will this will work. So yeah, so definitely work. So, but anyway, I got a skedaddle. So. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.